Okay guys, this is the part-time economist and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the histogram that I talked about in the previous lesson. So just to make things easy, I've come up with a fake data set of the cans of Coke that I drank every day. So there's one day where I drank one can, two days where I drank two, three where I drank three. You guys get the picture. Now our bins, we're going to set this up so that one bin is anything from zero to two, the next bin is going to be two to four, and then we're going to have four to six. So select our range of data here. We're going to go to statistics, descriptive statistics, frequency tables, and click on histogram. Now our input we can check we have alpha 1 to alpha 1 6 which is correct. Our cutoffs now numeric can calculate these bin sizes for you right so it'll apply its formula and it'll say bin 1 is from like 1 to 1 and a half or 2 to 2.3 depending on your data set but we don't want to do that we want to use our own bins so we're going to click select our bins and then that little button brings us back now when we go to bins there's a bunch of different options that you can pick from so some of these will be from 0 up to 2 some bins will be from 0 to less than 2 some could be from anything more than 0 to anything less than or equal to 2 you guys can really set it up however you want but just to make things simple I like always clicking this bottom one because I feel like it gives the best results now graphs and options it's very ironic but we do not want to click histogram because instead of giving us the frequency of the number of cans of coke we drank it's going to give us the average value of that bin so let's say there is three days when we drank from one to two cans of coke it's going to say well the bin is average 1.5 which we do not want so click column chart okay and there is our histogram now the thing that we want to be aware of here is that this is very plain looking but it it does get the job done right so when we have zero to two cans of coke per day there should be a total of three of that in that bin because remember the first day I drank one can then there was two days where I drank two cans so all in all there was three days where I drank between zero and two cans there was a total of seven days when I drank between two and four so for our practical purposes remember this says above two up to four so that's three cans or four cans so my three days of three cans plus my four days of four cans gives me a total of seven days where I drank between three and four cans and then here's our five days of five cans now this graph is usable but let's let's make it a little bit more professional right so let's click on properties and let's go right off and add so click chart click add and then let's make a title right so our title is going to be cans of coke per day now that's going to put our title right at the top but we can actually do a lot more than just putting a basic title we can go back to properties and let's say we want to put in an x-axis and a y-axis label the way that we do this is through adding a title right so this is going to be the label for our y-axis and we're going to call this frequency or you could call it the number of days or whatever you want then the style you can change if you want to don't worry about that for now the text the font everything like that now because it's our Y label we want the text to be going up and down so see how we can we can just move that around and change it and then lastly the position we want this to be on the left click apply and there is our frequency label let's add our X label so go back to chart add title and then we want it to be number of cans so there's that position we want this to be on the bottom and again the text position it's fine going straight across like that so apply and there you go we have our X label our Y label we have a title for the graph if you wanted you could go in add a whole bunch of different stuff uh, let me just show you some of the things you could add you could add legends you know what let's let's go ahead and do that we're gonna add in a legend and it's gonna tell us what we're dealing with so there's the legend 
But yeah, that's that's a brief overview of the number of cans per Coke per day. It's been useful, and I'll see you next time.